Hey, I'm going to show you how to use this fluid film to stop your Chevy from rusting out. Got to make sure you get underneath the whole truck too. Get inside as many of the holes as you can. Get the grease inside there. Get up onto everything you possibly can. Try not to hit all the electrical connectors. I guess that might matter. Now, I'm gonna get up here by the fuel tank and this external, uh, the middle fuel pump. I'm gonna get way in behind here and up like that. Yeah. Get up there on all these little perches and stuff. Trust me, seen it happen. It eats a hole and stuff if you let dirt or moisture sit up in anything like that. I'm also making sure to get every cross member. Just be careful around your exhaust and stuff, uh, cats and whatnot. Might uh, catch on fire if you're not careful. Don't want that. So I did that side, the other side frame rail. This is the driver's side frame rail. Make sure on each one you get up into anything where moisture can gather. Get up on all the bolts, get up on all the side there. You wanna get it so that it leaves these uh, this greasy layer on everything. Another little trick, spray. If you got running boards, spray. I spray the rockers anyway, but get all up in there and spray all that. Also make sure to get the back there. I am going to spray the inside of every panel on the bed, but I'm not, I don't have enough to finish that up today. I have to go get more. Also on these Chevys, and it's probably the same on a lot of other trucks, get up in here. Any little holes you see, the whole back liner of this, whole well, back side of the rocker panel, because that is where your rocker panels rust out from, is from the inside out. So any little holes like this guy right here, there's one right here to see know if you can see it. There's a few of those. Get all up in there. Every little bolt, everything you can possibly get, just get in there real good and leave a nice layer of grease. I also like to get around here. I am gonna do a lot of paint touch-ups on this truck soon, but it's good just to keep stuff from rusting out. Okay, so now I just have to put the ramps underneath the back and finish greasing up the back of the chassis and in the back of the bumper there. The back wheels on there, on the ramps. Last can. Side, you can see where it ended last time. Get back up in there, kind of cross it over, get in the holes a little bit. Because, you know, moisture and dirt sits up there and I'm also getting the bed bolts whenever I see them. Yeah, see, like I'll get the ends of these bolts and in the tube and all that. Make sure you get up around your shock perches here because trust me, trying to get uh, rusted bolts out from those can be a pain in the ass. I'm gonna get these ones too. I'm also getting brake lines a little bit too. Any of the metal brake lines, I'm hitting them with it just to prevent them from rusting out because I don't like having to replace brakes really at all. The back corners of the bumper. Now, I am going to spray the inside of my fen uh, fenders and box, like the inside of the sheet metal here, but I'm going to have to go buy a few more cans and do that this coming weekend. I don't have enough I'm on my last can nice layer uh, back of the bumper on the inside get in uh, behind here too I already did this part earlier but I'll do a quick little coating again got uh, all sides of the frame rails both inside and out every cross member in the backside of each bumper. 
and uh, yeah there you go